Hi there, in this video we are fixing the light meters on my Pentax ME. Now, if you watched my previous video, we fixed the stuck battery door or the battery cover on the base plate here. So if you have that problem, you can check out that video too. I mean, I think we might be looking at some sort of mini series here with uh, the Pentax ME <laughs> and how to fix at least some, some simple problems. So, like I said, <laughs> I put some new batteries into the Pentax ME and I couldn't get the meters to work. They worked before, so I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I put some film into the camera thinking maybe the DX code has something to do with the activation of the, of the meters, but that didn't work either. So, <laughs> next stop. Uh, is to or was to release these three little screws down here. I uh, will do this one more time so you can kind of follow along at home to this video. Hope everything is somewhat in focus. So we got the first screw out like so. And second one is right here next to the tripod mount. That's out as well, and third and last one. I'm not a huge fan of screwing on screwing these oop, tiny little screws because yeah, they might get lost or you uh, you just wear out the threads and the uh, the screw heads. But I think this might be a good <laughs> good time to. Um, to do it one more time. So um, I looked at some some guides on, on Google, but none of them. I couldn't seem to find anything specifically for the Pentax ME. There were a couple of fix tutorials on the Pentax ME Super, which have a more complex metering machinery than the one we have here on the Pentax ME. So if we remove the base plate, just like so, uh, we have the battery door on this side and here there's a little horseshoe shaped connector or pressure plate for lack of a better word. Let's see if we can get this in focus. It looks like this. And one thing that I figured out after kind of observing the mechanics of the camera when I was pressing the shutter, I have uh, actually some video that I took with my smartphone that I could insert here perhaps. Uh, but there's the, the shutter release button. It extends all the way through the entire camera and sticks out here at the bottom once you uh, press, uh, press down the shutter button. After studying everything that was going on here when we uh, advance film and half press and press down the shutter completely, I figured that the problem might have t something to do with uh, let's see if that in focus like so uh, with uh, different parts of the mechanics coming in contact with this pressure plate and the battery plate so maybe this uh, this base plate have some sort of uh, bigger <laughs> part to play here as a as an actual uh, connector between these different parts to activate the uh, the light meters so uh, what I did <laughs> and this isn't very elegant, but I just took a little screwdriver and gently just inserted the screwdriver underneath this uh, horseshoe shaped little contact point down here and gently just pried it up and away from the, uh, from the base plate to kind of make it stick more into the actual camera to, uh, to give uh, the little connectors in the camera <laughs> more better chance to hit this actual contact point here so i did that uh, on two sides just to to get it somewhat even and away from the um, from the base plate here i i just figured well maybe that does the trick so i put it back just like so turned on the camera or turned around the camera like so and lo and behold i was actually able to see the the meters uh, in the viewfinder, so apparently that's uh, I there could probably be more Problems or things causing the meters not to work 
but in my case with some fresh batteries in and everything that was the problem this little contact plate here on the base plate so if you have a pentax me and you replace the batteries with new ones and the meter still doesn't work give this a try like i said it helped me it wasn't very difficult to do we just release the the base plate here and uh, try that or extend the the distance between the base plate and that little horseshoe contact point on the, on the plate and hopefully that should work on your pentax me too but yeah that's gonna be it so thank you guys for watching hope this helped you too and uh well give this channel a subscribe because there might be more pentax me fix videos coming up who knows but yeah bye